Okay guys, got a self-contained little dog pet thing in a, in a dog aisle, pet aisle. Um, got a dirty condenser, pretty bad. Inside you got a small compressor in there, but when I first got here I heard some clicking like an overload. Um, see if it clicks again. There you go, it just clicked. It's going on on external overload. So um, hopefully it's not locked up. We'll find out what's going on. All right, got the compressor taken out. I um, plugged the compressor. Here's a plug, unplug that. Um, what I did was I took off the current relay. I took off the external overload. It just detached every starting component on there. I attached mine, I just rigged this up, have my own little plug going into the where the compressor plugs in right here, and then I just have my wires plugged into there, like so, I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, like so, bang, so that's my little contraption there, it works. Have my amp probe on the common. It's reading zero. Turn it on. Lock rotor amps. Got a bad compressor. All right. Got to put a bit in there. To see if we could replace it. Okay. Just so I have it out, I'm gonna show you something real quick. This right here is my start capacitor. I have a range, microfarad range of 145 through 175 microfarads. Um, I'll show you how to test that. On my meter, I have it set right here to the microfarad symbol. I can zero that out. And then, what I'm going to do, attempt with one hand to get that on there. That's lovely. Um, hold it there for a minute. Then you're going to see a reading pop up. 159. So with, I'm within the range. So this is actually good. So just letting you know on how to test these and to see how they're good. Okay, went to go pick up a new compressor. Got my compressor. Starting components already attached. Got my liquid line dryer right there. Then all I got to do is take that one out. I'm already starting to disassemble it. Took all the electrical out. It's all right here. Take that out. Cover the gas. And then um, unfortunately you're going to see it when it's all put back together because I don't have a setup where I can record everything while I'm doing it. So all right, I'm going to put everything together and then you'll see it after. All right guys, got my vacuum on. Did all my welds, pressure check, we're all good. Put a new liquid line dryer. Got a cap tube system. Uh, this piece came with it, but I had to do a bend, so that's the only thing I really did. Added a trader port, or a service port, and another service port that came with the um, liquid line dryer. Right now I'm at 7, 11, just put it into a vacuum. And um, that's it, this is my old liquid line dryer. And my old compressor. It's just all screwed up, it's just an old one. But anyways. Alright, I'll see you guys when it's all running.